Hi. See you here. And welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No. Let's see. That must be the home of the druid. Sorry, Tom Kelly. Finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. A hangman's noose, a knife, and the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Halwin said that the wicker men must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Carved from a single branch. The grooves match. My beast. That's what you burn. They roar. Do you hear them? A chorus of fire. That should be the last. I'm nailed down. I make some man more effects here look cool. Okay. Speak to me, O oh wind. And not. I've come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind. Returns a body to earth and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? 
the charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. Oh, wind. Have you found yourself? If you are a spi- Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The Skull Soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. You are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kudlodron. Kudlodron? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn, but this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. Thank you. Take care. Kuth Latran. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motran awaits me at the stones nearby. Okay, this is actually a fun quest. We need to... Get some skills. Master point. Can I press? No, I can't. Modron ahead. No. Modron, well met. Guards, someone save me. A murderous Dane is here to sever my head from my neck. You could have told me of your plight earlier. We are both friends of Bridget, and I know you would do nothing to jeopardize your friend. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Thefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodron, name of Gwilim, who was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodron is the Welsh name for the thieves' warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You did not have to trust me. Tefter's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste, then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. <whistles> this forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. 
I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his it's church. Like cool, uh, Tevder did speak of revelation. <laughs> Do you think that's why it's he was tempted? Looks like it. There are many who would claw their way to the top. Rope. Tevder's disappearance could be the work of any. Yeah. But you are a witch. Oh. Open oh, so to the gods. Have you seen anything? Seen or or much smoke. <laughs> are there any rival dames oh, sorry, passing through who could have done it? If it were rival dames, hey, you would have heard this. their horns by now. They're not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Crash the party. Come here, blood bag. So he lives. Oh shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Coonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Coonan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. To... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together. Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lord has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. You've a good heart. Thank you. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask him myself. I was mulish when he spoke of the pagans being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. The scrape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. Hmm. 
got this one here to handle real quick then. Second. Oh no. He's hot to the touch and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tefter to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute, then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Have you seen Kunan? What are you doing after the festival? I'm looking for Kunan. Right! Right, yes. He's in the church. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be delivered to him. Just tell Geva I sent you. Of course. Um, what does Geva look like? Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck, and happy sowing! You too. Is this crate so heavy? Died. I must find a way to get in. And no. There you are, Snake Tongue. Hey, for <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader? And an angry church ready with holy fire? They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Moldron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Avar. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... You and Mother... Then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenive, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. 
You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure. Ah. So we did choose a quite good choice there. There were more of this in this book. This looks like a boss battle, right? Yay. Hello. Sweat and blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Modron! Stay your blade! Or die at my hand! I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Take this! Yay, we did it. Do it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. A seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. It was listen to fake audio. And we do spare her because of her kid, her daughter. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes, and keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? That's why. What is this? Is this... Are we in hell? No. No. We're in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. 
Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death. God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modron. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This <laughs> I really love is this character and voice actor. Wow. Just another, another day, another life here. Yeah, let's get him. It is so worth it to do this. Una, it's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be our shared saga, but it is time to leave. We have spent nuts but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes, Ranvi will be eager to meet Richard. Richard and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. Look at me! Henna! Henna homo! Cast about this lad, my friend. <laughs> we first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And along long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, you will see me again. Father, I thought I could be ready. It is time. Then let this burn, let it burn. is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance.
Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The Wicker Man is ready, O oh King. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your Harvest King. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he so prayed brutal. for. But this Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. <laughs> This is so Praise scary. The harvest king. <gasps> Bloody pagans. <laughs> Why does Kunan have to go? He's saving us all now. It seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Yes, but we need to see. We need to see. Okay, let's get back to Renvida. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Glowichestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. We know that another video. What do you see, Sunan? We have stuff to do now. Oh. 
I need to reach level 6. Finally. Yay, we did it! Finally. Oh, sweet home. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Hey. May I see your stores? You know you have use for this. You should buy that. You've made the right choice with this one. This was you and me. Glad you like it. What that came from. Nice. We need to row our way out. We can't raise the sail yet. We can use the sail Run here. The sail. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and see play out. Ow!